We wish them the very best. All right, time's on 5-16. Let's switch gears, get over to Michelle. Thanks, Leslie. It's a very quiet start to our morning, but it's also chilly if you haven't stepped outside quite yet. You might need a light jacket as you're heading out, but you certainly won't need it later on today as our temperatures will rebound nicely into the 70s. So it's 62 in New Orleans and dew points are nice and low, so we're actually looking at the humidity staying low through the entire day and clouds will begin to increase as we go through your morning and afternoon hours. So expect a partly cloudy day. Winds though are out of the northeast at 13 miles per hour and because the winds are out of that direction, it's continuing to pull in that dry and less humid air. But of course, that doesn't last too long in our area. We'll begin to feel the humidity climb tomorrow. So current temperatures look fine. Chilly north of Lake Pontchartrain, 57 in Slidell, 54 in Bogalusa. Good morning. And then south of the lake, we're beginning our day in the 60s. 60 in Belle Chase, nearing 70 in Buris, and 61 in Laplace, as well as Raceland. So winds are pretty strong in a few locations, especially along our lakes. We're looking at winds of 22 miles per hour sustained at the lakefront airport with stronger wind gusts indicated in yellow there and then 24 miles per hour in Shell Beach with stronger wind gusts nearing 30 and it looks like the winds will stick around as we go through today. So if you're doing any boating or going near the water, just know that there is a small craft advisory in effect. So use caution. Hour by hour forecast looks great. Partly cloudy skies as we go through your morning temperatures gradually climbing into the upper 60s closer to lunch. We'll eventually get into the lower 70s during the early afternoon hours and staying in the 70s as we wrap up your day. And here's a look at your marine forecast looking at a moderate chop along our coastal areas and lakes with winds out of the northeast between 15 to 20 knots. And if you're now tuning in, yes, there is a small craft advisory in effect. So for today, we'll see our temperatures climb into the lower to mid 70s. Normally we're supposed to be at 80. We'll be a few degrees shy of that with temperatures climbing into the mid 70s in Covington and Slidell and lower 70s along our coastal communities. Also, if you're doing anything outside today, don't forget the sunscreen because the UV index will be rather high so you can burn quickly and also easily. So even though we are looking at a dry day today, a few spotty showers are possible tomorrow, but really looking for the rain as we head into our Wednesday and Thursday. Friday, we might see a few isolated showers, but again, Friday, we kick off Jazz Fest. The forecast looks fine, and then the weekend forecast really looking fantastic if you are planning to go to that event. So I do want to show you the GFS model. Today looks fine, partly cloudy sky. Guys, we'll see a stationary front to our southeast and then eventually it will lift from the north or from the south rather, excuse me, and it is going to stir up a few showers becoming a warm front and also we'll begin to see our temperatures climb. Really scattered showers as we go through your Wednesday and then eventually we'll see that same front stall out and we may see an upper level low begin to develop over the area. Plenty of clouds, scattered rain, and a few thunderstorms can't be ruled out as we go through our Thursday and then clearing up nicely as we wrap up the work week. Now, as we go through the weekend, a weak frontal boundary will move through Saturday. We may see a few clouds Saturday afternoon. As of right now, it doesn't look like any rain associated with it, but it is going to kick up our winds and it's also going to break the humidity just in time for Sunday. So Sunday is looking pleasant too, and we may see some cooler air out of it. So as we look at the humidity forecast, we're looking humid Wednesday through our Thursday, even on Friday, Saturday as well. Cold front slides through and then it breaks the humidity as we go through your Sunday afternoon. So here's a look at your seven day pleasant 74 partly cloudy 20% coverage for showers and storms tomorrow and then looking at scattered rain Wednesday and Thursday and looking great as we head into our Friday. We'll be right back.